The Cal OES Mutual Aid System is the backbone of emergency management, moving resources within the state and even out of state as they help our communities and our neighbors as they respond to disaster. Within the Mutual Aid System is the Emergency Management Assistance Compact, commonly known as EMAC, which includes all 50 states as well as the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Guam, and the Northern Mariana Islands. The definition of mutual aid is really neighbor helping neighbor, and so if we can, um, one, bring California subject matter expertise to another state and help them respond and recover quicker. During a disaster, resources are strategically maneuvered throughout the state. Once those resources are overwhelmed, California requests additional support. Oftentimes, those resources come from beyond the state line. Typically, we do reach out to our, to our neighboring states just because it's quicker to receive resources that way. But as we've seen back in 2020, uh, we had fire engines come all the way from New Jersey. These compacts play a vital role within the emergency management community, providing expertise and supporting each other in times of need. Implemented on behalf of the governors by the emergency management agencies, the EMAC process is relatively straightforward. Once a state declares an emergency, a request for resources is initiated starting with the closest states. Mutual aid resources are then mobilized and deployed to impacted areas, starting with a 14-day deployment. Other states can reach out at any time so long as they have that proclamation. Um, and it's just a it's a state-to-state -state, uh, relationship to basically open up lines of communication, see what's available, and if both states agree, then that, pro that process can take place. As wildfires raged in New Mexico, Cal OES, in addition to coordinating firefighter resources, also deployed a recovery team with experts in watershed and debris flow, debris operations, public and individual assistance, and interagency recovery coordination. As these fires start developing, at what point did you guys know that you needed some more support and when did you start reaching out to other states? We actually ran the incident for probably about, I don't know, probably about two and a half, three weeks. Um, and we knew that we were getting very overwhelmed. So I, I will say um, my staff, typically, I have a staff of about 20. Um, actively right now, I have a staff of seven, not including the California folks that you guys have sent us via EMAC. Um, so we got to a point where we were just very overwhelmed in general. With no rest, working around the clock, the situation was growing increasingly dire without EMAC support. I probably wouldn't have any staff. We would just have gotten to a point where we were so exhausted and so overwhelmed that either the federal government would have had to come in, the feds through FEMA would have had to come in and pretty much run everything, or we, I would have had people quitting on me, to be perfectly honest. At the same time Cal OES sent resources to New Mexico, additional personnel deployed to Montana to assist with historic flooding. Resources from the Midwest, up north, and the East Coast have all deployed to California in support of past statewide wildfires. In return, California has regularly sent resources to neighboring states to assist with response and recovery efforts for wildfires, to Puerto Rico for earthquakes, and to the South and East Coast for tornadoes and hurricanes. Disasters have no boundaries. Neither does mutual aid support. It built friendships, it built relationships, it built um, people for us to springboard ideas off of later on once the fires have died down. Like, it, it's not just about coming in and helping during that period of time. It was, it was about, you know, building capacity, honestly. The days are long. The travel can be often rushed and disrupted. The terrain, unfamiliar. We didn't know if we were gonna get days off or breaks and we were prepared to not and grateful that we did. The mission though, is always the same. Support the impacted communities and set them up for long-term success. It was a very fulfilling experience to get sent to another state and support New Mexico. I mean, it's fulfilling to work at Cal OES anyway, supporting the state of California, but to bring what is sort of an unfortunate subject matter expertise with wildfire fire recovery to another state so that they can um, help their public faster. For more on EMAC, go to news.caloes.ca.gov and follow us on all of our social media platforms.